Hey guys, Chelsea here with Gent Sense, back again with the channel takeover. So today I am at Primpathy's. This is my hair salon where I actually get mine done at. Uh, I thought this is the perfect place to get the opinions of multiple different women on what is the sexiest fragrance in between the three that I actually have out here. So these are three heavy hitters, uh, Dior Sauvage, Y-E-D-T, and Blue de Chanel. So we are going to get this debacle settled. Which one is the sexiest fragrance? Uh, and you're gonna get the opinions of everyone that is pretty much in this building right now. Hairstylist, anybody that is willing and able to smell and rate this fragrance. We're gonna pick the top winner, and of course a second place and a third place. All right guys, so the first one that we've got here is Elizabeth. So she is going to smell all three of these and pick out what you think is the sexiest one. Okay. So each scent has a dry down and each scent has an opening. So the dry down is what you smell the longest. The opening is what you smell as soon as you spray it on. Okay. You know, with the dry down and the opening in mind, which one is the sexiest. So okay. first we're gonna do Blue de Chanel. Here is the dry down of Blue de Chanel and I am going to do the opening here. There's the opening. You can hold that. Okay. All right. And then once you're done, just set those down. Okay. All right. And then the next is Y E D T. There's the dry down. There you go. Okay. The third up is Dior Sauvage. Right there is the dry down. And here is the opening. And after you get done smelling those. Uh, do you have any thoughts on any of them or any of them yes. like the one that the, the it is through and through I smell the same on both is yeah the third one. so you think that one is the sexiest, it is the sexiest. Yes. what about these two if you That's had to pick the second one. okay That's so why why EDT is I'm the second one I'm surprised that I didn't like that one the best why you like a lot of Chanel stuff I do. which one is the sexiest okay fragrance. the sexiest fragrance all right yes all right so next up we have mariana she's a hairstylist here yeah hi hey guys so here is the dry down the first one that you're smelling is blue de chanel okay and then i'm gonna give you the opening you can give me any thoughts opinions or anything on any of those thus far i feel like this one is really like I don't know, this is something that I would expect like a model to wear, I guess. I don't know. Like I think of like magazines and you look yeah. into them. Yeah, like the little scratch yeah, and sniff yeah, things yeah, that for you have. Sure. It smells yeah. really good. Yeah. I don't know. I always like doing those. That's like one of the only reasons why I even go in magazines is because I really like the little like scratch and sniffs in that the are day, in there. For sure. Yeah. Alright, so you've got the opening and the dry down okay. of Y E D T. Ooh, this one's kind of like a fresher, like cleaner smell. Yeah. Yep. I like this better, the opening, I guess. Yeah, so out of those two, which are you liking the best so far? Probably this one the best so, thus far. I mean, I think that they both are good smells, but I definitely like, I don't know, I feel like this one's lighter and not quite as like heavy, you know? Yeah. So I feel like a lot of times men tend to overdo it with the little, you know, with the cologne and it knocks you down. I feel yeah. like that one is one that you could wear. Yeah, some guys can definitely do that a yeah. lot. You know, like you can tell that they have sprayed on like 10 sprays. Just take a shower. <laughs> yeah. Third and final is uh, Dior Sauvage. This is one of the ones that I absolutely love. I like this one too. I love Dior Sauvage. It's definitely, I feel like, more of like a cleaner man smell. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna have to go with this one for my favorite, personally. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, wow. So she picked Y-E-D-T. I like that one, but this one smells really good too. Yeah, I they all smell really good. Really I like mean, these are all, like I said, they're kind of crowd pleasing. For ones sure. That, you know, nobody is going to be like, oh, that's a terrible smell. I don't smell. feel like any of them are bad smells. Yeah. But we're picking the sexiest fragrance out of these three. All right, guys, so I have Christina here with us. And first up on the list is Blue de Chanel. Mm, I like that. Okay. All right, I'll take those from you then. All right, next up is Y E D T. Uh, there is the dry down, and I'm gonna spray out the opening. 
is Dior Sauvage and then I'm going to give you the opening you have the dry down okay so I would say these two are very close but I like the this one best okay and then this one I have Aubrey here that's right Aubrey 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 I have Aubrey first up I have Blue de Chanel here's the dry down see this smells yummy it smells really good, don't it? Yeah. All right, there's the opening. See, if I was just in the store and I sprayed this and smelled this, I'd be like, no, I don't like this. But yeah, the right no. away, no. The dry down one, yes. All right, awesome. So next up is Y-E-D-T. There's the dry down. Mm, I like this one too. There's the opening. Sure. I've never realized how much it changes after from time, the, yeah, yes, from because you just spray it fresh in the store and you're like, you know, I don't like that. And see, that's one of the things that kind of rough when you're going in and kind of blind buying a fragrance from like, you know, Macy's or Belt or wherever is because you're not going to sit there for 30 minutes no. while the fragrance dries down. And that's the most important part yeah. because that's what you're going to smell the longest. Last but not least okay, is Dior Sauvage. Yep, there's the dry down and here's the opening. See, this is more like woodsy almost to me. Yeah. No. You don't like that one as Not much? feeling it straight away? No. The straight away, definitely not. All right, so if you had to pick the sexiest one out of these three, which one? Uh, probably the first one. All right, so that's two votes for Blue de Chanel. All right. And then I guess you would probably pick the Y EDT as your second place. Yes. Okay, and that's my least. Dior Sauvage third. Yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you. Hey, everybody. This is Danielle. Hello. <laughs> She's the next victim. <laughs> so we are going to smell and rate what you think is the sexiest one. So first, we're going to do Blue de Chanel. There is the dry down, and I'm going to spray you the opening. There you go. How's that one so far? Good. You like it? Yeah. Y G T. And there's the opening on that one. You like that one better? Yeah. You think so? I do. Okay. Actually, this is going to be a little bit closer than what I was thinking it's going to be. Ooh. All right. So there is Dior Sauvage. Ooh. Is this one going to be tough for you? It is going to be tough for me. I think that one's my favorite. You think so? Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Everything is relatively even right now, which really isn't that surprising because they're all really good fragrances. <laughs> like, you can't go wrong with any of these. Like, would you hate to smell these on anybody? Not at all. Or Not like, at all. <laughs> if you were on a date with somebody, would there, like, one of these be like, oh my God, I can't believe he's wearing that. No, yeah. not even close. <laughs> yeah, they're all really good fragrances. I have Tiffany with us now, so it's her turn. She's gonna smell all three, rate which one is the sexiest. So we are going to start out yeah. with Blue de Chanel. Here's the dry down, and I'm gonna give you the opening. How do you like that one so far? Not my thing. Okay, all right. I don't know. They definitely smell totally different, dry down, yeah. wet. Oh yeah, absolutely. They really honestly do. Well here, we'll move on to Y, E-D-T. This is new Saint Laurent. I definitely like the opening best. Yeah, yeah, that one's really, um, like a really clean type yeah, that of fragrance. Yeah, good. That's yeah. pretty sexy. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay, so up last is Dior Sauvage. There's the dry down. Here is the opening. Get your untangle. Well, this one definitely like the wet one. It's yeah. really doing it for me. The opening? <laughs> yes. Okay, so would I you... don't really like it as much dry, but maybe if it was on a right. sexy enough guy, so we get yeah. then I might. On a sexy enough man. Yeah. Maybe their um, body scent with it. Do you something for me? But this right, one. Put your head back. Whatever this one We're almost was. We're done. We just gotta rinse it out. Okay, so that's your sexy, sexiest fragrance. Can I wear this go. today? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Spray I want to. I want to smell sexy. 
You want to smell like a sexy man? Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm pretty sure it's two, two, to two right now. I literally think it's a three-way tie. I don't know, I guess I kind of figured that this would happen, but also at the same time, I didn't think so. I guess all the weight is on my shoulders now. I am going to pick a number one. So, oh, I'm nervous. So I'm gonna smell Blue de Chanel first. I like it, very clean, aquatic smelling. Why is what I'm, I've got right now. Um, it smells really good. The opening is very sweet. All right, moving on to Dior Sauvage. Mm, I love that opening. All right, I think I have the tiebreaker and I think I've made my choice. So I'm going to go with Sauvage as the sexiest one with Y being the next to sexiest and Blue de Chanel being the last. So who is the winner? Dior Sauvage. Get out of here. That's not the sexiest hey, one. I picked yours as number two. I think this one needs to be a Christmas gift though. Hey, yeah, Christmas is coming up. Sure. You could get your significant other that one. I mean, definitely make them smell sexier. That's what way do you like to Yeah, do? well, any of these are going to make the guys smell sexier. I mean, honestly. And obviously, this video has kind of like proved that. But all of these are going to make your man smell better or make you smell better for all you men out there watching. That's how you want I mean, this literally only won at one point. So I think that just goes to show that all three of these are really good fragrances. And you're gonna have to let us know how you like the channel takeover because I think that we should do this more often. Yes. And I think most of you guys that are commenting out there, I see them, you guys like the channel takeover, so I am trying to do them more often and get you guys more opinions of women. That's why I'm kind of branching out and doing other things other than just my opinion because we all have different opinions, obviously. Um, this, again, has just shown that, that we all like something ways. different. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode, channel takeover with Gent Sense. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. And again, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.